fires. Continue the search. The search for secrets left over from the days long gone. Before the end of civilization, as we knew it. In a dying world. In long abandoned ruins. Sometimes we forget the old adage in the wastes. Nothing is what it seems. Welcome to Atom RPG Trudograd, my dear survivors of the apocalypse and veterans of Atom RPG. Welcome back. So here we are. We uh, we were we have beaten the base game. So Trudograd is a story expansion, but also a standalone game. And well, we'll see. Let can can I do something here? So it looks all rather similar. Yeah, let's do like here. Other options, but I think that's actually fine. Although I've kept the. Hurts at 120 actually. So let's, uh, let's. Ah! There. Let's do it like that. So maybe. Maybe that improves stuff. User interface scale. So that's something nice. I like that. So people can. See everything easily. So graphics quality is fantastic. We can put that on maximum. Very good. This should all be okay, I guess. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Camera distance, special code. No, don't have that. Battle speed. Yeah, we'll 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 adapt it. We we will uh, isometric mode. Yeah, well. So I've not looked into the game yet. Um. We will explore it together. W S D A. So that's the regular stuff. It's not a shooter or anything, right? I wonder. Because it says like isometric mode. Well, we'll look into it. So let's have a new game. Create character. Can I Aya? Import from Atom RPG. You can import your character from Atom RPG on this screen if the following requirements are met. The game you are importing from is free of any mods. Uh oh. <laughs> I had I had a mod actually. The save you are importing was made in the room of Atom RPG's final boss after the confrontation. Oh no, I didn't. Did I save it? In other situations, successful import is not guaranteed. Well, let's try it. Well, it's this here, huh? 
but this is before the this is before the the attack well god let's do it like that yeah so this is our good old hard balef well and we do have a lot of points there big bone lone genius yeah Well, the graphics seem to have improved nicely there. Although, well, it actually, no, it looks exactly like before. You know, well, it's, no, it looks kind of different. Skin tone. Ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, haircut. It's the first time that we can actually do this with our character. Oh, uh, it, it is so long ago that uh, I don't even remember it. That's considered a ponytail. Bald, short hair, parting. Yeah, let's have parting. I mean, this, this is the wastelands, right? So, but we try to not have any hair in our face. Facially has Pushkin, <laughs> the dad mustache, old Dutch, metal head. Can actually, no, I can't uh, change the angle. We can just scroll around, okay? Lumberjack, Lenin. No, no, that's for sure. No, Rasputin beard. Well, I mean, this is the the late Soviet Union. After, yeah, let's have a clean shave. After the. Um, atomic bombs fell. Dark gray, black, brown, gray, light gray. That looks to me, that looks actually more like the uh, blonde, but whatever. That's wheat blonde, reddish, dark gray, black. I think brown is okay. Or maybe uh, let's have this light gray. It is 20 years later now, right? They said it's 20 years later. So, so characteristics. We're actually okay with this here. So the lone genius, you were always a smart, attentive and charming kid, but it's hard for you to learn from life experience due to your crippling lack of empathy. That sounds like, an, like a certain autistic problem. Minus one ability point per level. Are these the skills? The, these are characteristic. What is an ability? This, this seems to be worse, actually. This seems to be worse now. But well, we are big boned. First they called you the corpulent cadet. Now they call you a massive major. But all those bullies are wrong. You're indeed healthy and simply big boned. That's no lie. HP, dodge minus 20. This has been totally changed, I think. Well, let's, let's look through it then. Destructive diplomat, a kind word, and a gun always trumps a soul kind of word, uh, soul kind word, at least in your opinion. Personality, speechcraft, chance to talk your way out of random encounters plus 20%. Yeah, I actually, I don't want us to talk our way out of random encounters in the first place. Firearm skills. Strength minus one, no thanks. Deadly dog. Oh, intellect plus two. Yeah, your incurable addiction made you into a monster. And every time you feel the first stages of a thrall, you will do everything to make others feel a fraction of the pain you endure. Oh, you are always drug addicted and you can never get cured. Um, that's actually not good. No, I would never get into a, get myself into a situation where I get any form of addiction. You always need to be in control of yourself. With your timid theoretician, you know how to achieve great wonders of post-war technology. However, you rarely hold something heavier than a ruler and a pencil. You start with level three recipes. Personality minus one. Carry weight minus fifteen. No, that's not bad. Not good. So I don't like 
I mean, the endurance is certainly a good thing. Trickster, you rarely visited the gym, but everyone knew you as the master of unlocking. Dexterity plus two, that's good. Carry weight minus 20, oh my god. Hack leader, you are a born leader, a shepherd, a visionary, a grand strategist. Yeah, that sounds good. And a prime target for everyone in shooting range. For each follower you get, speechcraft plus seven, first aid plus five, butter plus five, damage resistance plus two. Every follower gets dexterity and endurance plus one. For every follower on the team you lose, minus one to sequence, plus 10% to become targeted by enemies. Well, I hope, I would certainly hope that we don't lose any followers. Depend, uh, it depends very much on the game, doesn't it? Well, hounded individual, everyone is out to get you. Trust nobody. All friends and relatives are replaced by... Oh, you can have relatives in the game. That's cool. Are replaced by fake automatons when you are not looking. Did they bug your beat supply? Was that glowing KGB specter watching you just now? Are these new neighbors scanning your dreams? Stay vigilant. You only have yourself. And you have a party of so-called friends. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. When you have a party of so-called friends, yeah. <laughs> Weird loner, you spent your last week. That's actually quite funny. Like the... Like in the wastelands, I mean, I guess like many people would would uh, develop some psychological problems, I guess. Like, okay, weird loner, you spend your last vacation in your favorite place, a dump full of broken pre-war machinery. Too bad you were so excited when crafting that you forgot to take most of your meals. I'm gonna grow half as slow. Tinkering and survival increase cold and poison resistances. But minus five kilogram to carry weight. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I don't like it to be able to carry less. Natural born trader. You worked with the caravan in your spare time. Trading became your second nature. However, since you had men to lug wares and guard the caravan for you, your physical skills regressed somewhat. No. God's mistake. Behold, the mistake of God. You fail at everything you do, but there's a bright side. <laughs> you are more resilient due to your constant accidental self-harm and you manage to make your terrible luck contagious. When you mess up, your enemies mess up as well. That sounds like the curse of hardball. Is it back? Is the curse back? Endurance plus two cr uh, critical attack power slightly raised. The less luck you have, the more your opponents messes up in astonishing and baffling ways. <laughs> From time to time you suffer fatal mistakes yourself, naturally. That sounds actually funny better than big bones although I do like the endurance but dodge minus 20 no sensei a wise master of martial arts once said that those who kill with bullets spend their life searching the wastes for more ammo but those who kill with fists spend a minute to loot enemy corpses and are ready to kill once more okay all, all firearm weapons minus 35 though Endurance dexterity is increased. Hand-to-hand -hand melee weapons and dodge plus five. So actually, I like that. Shooting and reloading firearm weapons costs an extra action point. That's really bad, though. I don't. I don't know about the this is abilities. Oh, that's the abilities. Okay. Well. Oh, they they increased that. We have a new system here, and we have seventy-two points. How much does that cost, actually? I think we can do that later on, right? Machine gunner. Oh, wow. Okay, I think, I guess it will take too long to read everything. But um, maybe I'm just mousing over it and... Uh, yeah, let's firstly check this one here. So this is not uninteresting, but I don't like the action point. And... I mean, okay, like from Atom RPG, we know that... Um, that the melee is actually pretty good. And I I like the distinctions where you get the the characteristic points. So where were we? Bloodthirsty ogre ogre. 
You have many layers, but the one most people see is that of a blood crazed psycho cannibal. No wonder folks will concentrate their fire on you in any shootout. Gather three meat from people you murder. Oh. <laughs> All enemies have 15% chance to panic at the start of the battle if they are in eight squares or less around you. Personality minus two. 50% chance of being attacked instead of any teammates in combat. Uh, sexy beast. You spend a lot of time making it so any person of the opposite gender falls for your charms. Now all you have to do is make your own gender less envious of your love life. Mm. Personality and bodies increase only works for the opposite gender. Personality minus one when talking to your own gender. Mm. Yeah. Lone genius, you were always a smart and attentive kid, yeah. One minus one ability point per level. So this here. That's the ability as well. Yeah. Would be the the question would be that what is this time of day night I am? Um question is how many we actually get. I have no idea. But well. Then, otherwise, I do like this one. Intellect, personality, and attention. I think we are still keeping it. Roid Rampage. If your lifespan was like a century or two, maybe you'd have the time to gain muscle the old fashioned way. Life in the Oasis isn't that long for anyone, though. At least that's what you say to yourself to justify your disturbing pill addiction. Strength plus 3, carry weight plus 20 kilograms using any stimulants, grand sequence plus 4, and damage resistance plus 8. Stimulants work twice as long. However, dodge minus eight, intellect minus one, minus ten to toxic resistance. Stimulants have fifty percent chance to cause a critical effect. Hmm. Negative effects of stimulants last twice as long. Oh, no, no. Well, I'm not the point, the person who pushes anything up the veins anyway. So. A retrograde. While the chodes and the dweeps constructed their little inventions, you grown you 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 have grown muscle mass and did heavy endurance training trash used in crafting is finite raw force is infinite crafting requires twice as much ingredients hmm well i did like the crafting a lot and it was really useful for a change in comparison to other games um up to the late game yeah it was very viable we 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 ended up with many, many points uh, in our skills, though. So it might even be a good thing to have that technology and tinkering. Yeah. We might even take that. Although I've kind of find God's mistake funny. Then freedom lover. Firearms are the only religion worth following in this damned world. They are its only salvation. It's the only guarantee of human rights, freedom and justice for all. Firearms are the things that you'll never give up. Things they will have to take from your cold, dead hands. All firearm related skills gain 25. Sequence plus 7. 3% to critical attack chance. Hand to hand and melee weapon gain. Minus 20. Endurance minus 1. Hmm. Oh, a lucky bastard, but we can't be that because we have the curse of hardball. Lucky bastard, you never called yourself lucky. People who witnessed you juggle chainsaws while walking a minefield did it for you. Luck plus three, personality plus two. Speechcraft 15, gambling 15, 30% chance of skill checks pass in untrained skills. Hmm. Well. Minus 15 to all skills except speech, craft, and gambling. So that's really bad. But otherwise, like, I mean, it's a plus three point trait uh, in the characteristics. So that's actually not so bad. But the points, yeah, that's, that's actually really bad. Wacky woodsman on the plus side. You taught yourself to kill beasts of all kinds so cleanly. You never mess up their valuable parts. On the other hand, you often forget to clean yourself after a hunt. 35% to dam chance to damage ag uh, against monsters and animals. You can grab valuable body parts without a knife. 
You get twice as much loot from animals and monsters, plus 20% to hit limbs with aim shots. Personality minus one, minus 10 kilograms to carry weight. Okay. So for me personally, everything that reduces our carry weight uh, falls off the table. Then we've got the doomed guy. You are cursed to suffer cruel and terrible fate, but that only makes you want to kill more. Tension plus two. 12% to hit with aim shot, with luck 3 and lower, plus 3% to critical chance. Chance plus 5% to cause a critical state when shooting limbs, luck minus 2. So it's a plus minus 0 points for the characteristics here. Sequence minus 7, 10%, minus 10% to hit with unaimed shot. <clears throat> I think it's fun here with God's Mistake and the Lone Genius. So let's do that. And I think actually. The less luck you have, the more your opponents messes up in astonishing and baffling ways. Let's do that. Like so, and then we've got strength 8, and let's have this here a 10. So I don't know, or maybe what's the maximum? Uh huh. Well, I guess we get something, and if it's like in the other game. We are genius, by the way. A titan of thought, intellectual, smart, resourceful at five, average IQ is four. Oh well, yeah, it's five. Five points is average IQ, HQ. So here three. Uh, it's not. Uh, oh yeah, it changes by the way. Average IQ, silly at three, stupid, mentally retarded. Yeah. We are actually rather smart. So here, does this actually change something? Skill points per level is 27. Oh yeah. So let's start out with this here, 27. And lightning reflexes. This uh, dodge is at 20, 11, uh, 21. Sorry, 21. Okay. I'm not sure where the modifier is coming from, but well. Endurance, the maximum health total. Base value is tough. Yeah, we are tough. Personality is entertainer, rock star, soul of the party, a nice person, average, tactless, what a bore, scumbag. I think eight points is fine. Yeah, attention, attentive to detail, and we are a sniper. Yeah, sniper sounds about right. So I think we can go like this. And we are reducing the luck, so something happened and the curse of Hardball is back. Which should find something, so the less luck you have, the more your opponent messes up in astonishing and baffling ways. From time to time you suffer fatal mistakes yourself, naturally. We'll see. We'll see. We, we are tough to deal with that. I hope so, at least. So then, martial arts. What is this here? Oh! Aha. Uh -huh. By the way, what is the maximum, I wonder? Like rifles. Oh, it's beyond 200 now, okay. Um, well. Can we actually, re oh, we can reduce it, okay, well. I mean, this is sort of a cheating, isn't it? Your skill with knight. Well, let's keep it at 90. So, and then here, let's increase this one. This is how it was, right? I think we can actually just leave it like this. So, maybe Bata 70, Beechcraft. Let's make, let's make even numbers, so. Like this here, the Lone Genius. Yeah, we didn't have any changes in our skills. So naturally, we are a very bad gambler. Um, we are a good shot. And we are good at throwing. So actually, uh, I think it's it's fine like that. So, But uh, uh, let, me, let me just check something. I want to see... Or oh, let's see here. Experience for killing in hand-to-hand -hand combat <coughs> increased by 5%. 
<coughs> here we get 10% increase. That's actually an interesting concept here. Experience for killing with the weapon governed by the skill increased by 10%. Pistols. Yeah, okay, now, now I have to I have to check out the others, but uh, I wanted to see how many points the maximum is. Let me just check that. We are going to the minimum, so we can push at as many points, but 100 is probably enough. I would expect that it's maybe 299 then. Some more here. Yeah, 299, okay. Attacks governed by this skill ignore 30% of armor and 100% of enemy dodge rating at 299. Oh, wow. Base damage with weapons governed by this skill increased by 50% at 250. Experience for killing with the weapon governed by the skill increased by 10%. At 200 points, okay. Well, and here with martial arts, we have attacks governed by the skill, ignore 30% of armor and 100% of enemy dodge rating at the maximum. Attacks <clears throat> aimed at body parts are much more deadlier now. 200 at the head smashing and a roundhouse attack for 200, uh, at 200 uh, for bare hands and feet. Experience for killing with the attacks and weapons governed by the skill increased by 10% at 150. Combo attacks available for bare fists and feet at 100. Okay. Well, I guess we should leave this one here 200 though, so we get the immediate experience gain. Um, and here, bursts are 10% more accurate, allows attacking with stocks of the weapons governed by the skill. Interesting. So this would also be basically a melee attack. Her weapons governed by the skill have a 9% chance to ignore armor. Experience for at 150. Experience for killing with the weapon governed by the skill increased by 15%. But of course the ammo usage is way higher. When firing burst, the stun chance increases by 25% and armor ignoring chance by 15 at 250. Yeah, okay, and at the maximum 299 it appears to be always uh, ignoring 30% armor and 100% of enemy dodge rating. Yeah, for all of them, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, a melee weapon can break in combat by 2%, 10% of the FO is armored. Experience for killing with the weapon governed by 100, yeah, well. I mean, I mean, we got the points there. Throwing weapons allows attacking with stocks of the weapons governed by the skill. Experience for killing with the weapon governed by the skill is increased by 15%. Range increased by 1. Weapons governed by the skill have a 17% chance to ignore armor at 200. And crit uh, is increased by 5 at 250. Okay, interesting. Interesting, so... Well, let's increase our martial arts again. And I'm actually inclined to reduce this one a little bit. Let's put this one to 200. And I mean, okay, we don't know, I don't know what kind of uh, equipment we have now, if we are keeping anything from, from the base game. Um, but I mean, theoretically, we could reduce the, this here a lot. Yeah. But maybe we need to make a shift or something, so... Rifles at 200, we've got three points, Speechcraft, by the way, so here, 50, plus 20 experience on successful use of the skill, personalities raised by one in dialogue at 100, oh yeah, that's good, plus 
plus 35 experience on successful use of the skill at 150. Oh well. Oh, we get personality and stuff, so there's a pretty good uh, reason to get Speechcraft up. And we get a discount at 50. Merchant's cash increases by 30% at 100. Oh. Trader stock variation increased by 20% at 150. Merchant's cash increased by 100% at 200. Merchant's stock updates twice as fast at 250. Gain one experience point for every 50 rubles of money gained by selling things. Oh, 290. Well, I, but I feel we shouldn't uh, mess around too much. Winnings increased by 30%. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, let's have eight points here. That's that's a harmonious number. Survival, you get experience while traveling on the global map. Global map, traveling speed increased by 20% at 100. Travel speed on location increased by 30% at 150. That's useful, I think. Experience received by our usage of the skill increased by 20% at 200. Doubles the duration of effects provided by consuming food, tea or coffee, 250. And 50% increase of travel, travel speed inside and outside the global map at 299, all right. First aid. Turns 15% of health points restored by stimulants and first aid kits into experience. Oh. At 100 points, 15% stronger healing effects from medical items. Then at 150, removes the negative effects of stimulants except for the doctor death distinction. Oh, well, I mean, with that, what I don't like are these ne negative effects. I wonder if uh, the negative effect is also considered the addiction, or like other way around. The addiction is considered a negative effect. But well, and then at 200 turns 30% of health points restored by stimulants and first aid kits into experience. 250 halves all negative effects from the use of BSF 12 and morphine except for the doctor death distinction 219 and doubles all positive effects well That is certainly interesting and here stealth plus 20 plus 10 experience for each item successfully stolen from a character's field of vision and Then the experience always increases well, I was I wonder like uh, pickpocketing was like uh, working together with, st with stealth, right? Lock picking, the ability to successfully open locks. Experience received via usage of the skill increased by 5%. So, well, the, the thing is, I wonder how this works in this game. I didn't really uh, use uh, or increase the skill. Um, and it's kind of a contradiction because we did a lot of lock picking, but the thing is you can just try again, right? Um, and then we got items experience received so it's always an experience gain, okay, it feels like a mistake to leave this one low But well, and I'm I'm not the pickpocket in this game contrary for example to encased actually Yeah there, there's a huge incentive to steal. Um, here we also get, always get more experience. I mean, we could do that. But I feel that we don't do that because Hadbalev is a very honest guy. After your adventures in the Krasasa mini region, you weren't simply promoted to major, but also entrusted with a new mission that would bring you to the far away city state of Trudugrad. Atom HQ is more than sure that only you are capable of completing this new assignment. Okay, well, we certainly are a special agent, right? Did we... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what, did, what did I do? All for it? No. <laughs> did I change... Well, let's, let's look at all the faces. I think they are all the same faces, right? Like last time. Like in the base... Like an Atom RPG. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, and we didn't have face surgery anyway, so there. Well, we are hard for left. There. So, well, I just got a little shock there. Um, so, where were we? Lock picking, pickpocketing, that's always just an experience increase. 
technology it's also experience okay and tinkering experience unlocks level one and two recipes experience from crafting is up 25 percent at 100 five percent to learn new recipe while crafting oh at 150 and at 200 unlock level three recipes 250 is price of custom made firearms increased by 200 percent okay so we could earn money becoming a weaponsmith unlocks all available recipes at 299 but i guess we can find them huh? so actually i feel that we should just keep everything like this at 200 i think we can just yeah you know, i mean okay do we really well, well maybe we only have a pistol but with a pistol i actually i'd rather go into the melee but well let's see um yeah it's for smgs as well though well i'm glad that i really tried to get everything so let's reduce this one to 100 and then we have some more points to spend so technology could put this one to 150 yeah we've been we've become a tinkerer so let's do that and then let's put this one here to 150 as well and the first aid that sounds quite intriguing with the removal of the of the negative effects actually but we also need to increase automatic firearms and my thinking is that we are sniping on the distance um, and then once the, the enemy comes closer we can switch into automatic firearms or throwing weapons but I don't know I don't know uh, let's put this one here into first aid then and then stealth let's reduce stealth to 100, 150 and then the rest goes into first aid um, and let's put let's push first aid to 150 as well and the lock picking uh, well Maybe we should have more lock picking. But I don't want to give up on anything else right now. But I mean, having 50 points seems to be a good choice. I don't know how it works. Maybe we should do some pistols here. Allows attacking with stocks and handles, yeah. Let's reduce this one to 80. 80 points. And then we've got 75 with melee weapons, just in case. And then, then we put this one here to 50. And we've got one point more here, first aid. I guess we don't, I'm not going to use any stims right now anyway. with the next level up we can get get more first aid maybe i guess we should be pretty good with fighting and stuff so let's do it like that so abilities oh the oh it's oh they have a nice new system here bone breaker so how much martial arts bone breaker your fists are made from steel martial arts deals one percent more damage for every second level until the bonus reaches 15 percent ability works retroactively as if taken on the first level so in general that's a general uh, increase in damage so that seems pretty pretty important experience butcher we don't need those unnecessary limbs don't we melee weapons deal one percent more damage when aiming at body parts well we don't use any melee weapons ability works retroactively although it could have been quite some fun if we had the chainsaw if we had used the chainsaw with our main character but i felt the uh, here this combat knife was actually pretty cool 
And it's, yeah, I mean, it all depends if anything changed. But let's have this one here for sure. Does it cost several points? No, just one. Okay, good. Nocturnal Predator, you're the terror that lurks in the night. During night chance to cause critical conditions 1% for every second level until the bonus reaches 15%. Ability works retroactively as, as if taken on the first level. Current value chance to cause critical condition 12%. Uh -huh. Dodge Master, why do you need armor if nobody can get you? Plus one dodge for every used up action point. Unused AP still grants dodge. That's good. I like that. We are learning that. I'm not. I don't even need to look around. Street Fighter may firearms are overrated. Your base melee damage increase increase as if you have plus fifty percent more strength. Wow! And then here, Fist of Fury. You, you deal out a chain of increasingly devastating blows. Every next hit dealt to the same target ups the critical chance for three percent. Change of target resets this bonus. Well, that seems to be pretty good. Adapter, you quickly learn through the tactics of your enemies and start to predict their every move. You gain plus one dodge for every 5% of missing, missing health points. Only works if dodge was a positive number before combat. Yeah, that sounds about good. But let's not take... Oh, well, we have 68 points, right? So, do this. Yeah, let's get that. Supersonic Fist. Some of your hits are so fast they cause sonic booms. Well... Bruce Lee would be proud, huh? You get 1% to knockdown chance in close combat for every second level until the bonus reaches 10%. Ability works retroactively. Current value, value knockdown chance is 10%. Okay. Precision stab. There's a chink in every piece of armor and you know how to find it. You get... But that's with melee weapons. Okay. Adrenaline rush. When there's danger foot, time seems to stop. If your health points are lower than 50%, you are granted two action points per turn. Fist of mutilation. After a blow like that, at least something will go wrong with your enemy. The enemy suffers a random critical effect. Martial arts. A random critical effect. That sounds pretty good. Also, with our luck thing, this could be fun. Pain points, hitting them when they are down, you love the idea. 25% to critical chance when hitting a knocked out or panicky opponent. 100% to the chance of an especially violent finishing move happening. Oh. Well, let's keep that one in mind. Or maybe we should actually do that already. Like here, right in the beginning. Oh, it costs. Oh, that's. Oh, the cost. That's how much it costs. I, I, I didn't pay attention well. P first blood. Running start means a devastating blow. 2% to crit chance and damage for every action point wasted on moving this turn. Fast reaction. Killing opponents fills you with new energy. If you manage to kill the enemy and you have nothing but melee weapons in the weapon slot, you get one more turn after the end of the main one. On an extra turn you gain 50% of your max action points. Oh, now, by the way, now I understand it better. Now it feels, now it feels like a rather nasty thing to have uh, genius. I wonder how many ability points we get per level. Does it say anywhere? Skill points, 27. Uh, by the way, now then, then let's check something. Like, where did the other one? There was this... There was this other, or it was just everything was just in one in one uh, thing to look at, right? What's this? Ah, yeah, yeah. So this is like the oh, they, they, that's actually a nice thing, okay? And this is the list to look at it, okay? Well, what's let's look at stuff. So survival, plot armor. Someone has to survive. Might as well be you. You get one percent to avoid knockdown for every level until the bonus reaches twenty percent. Belcher. Well, we've been knocked down a number of times, actually. It's not good. So this would be a good investment, I guess. So by, by the, basically, by the way, uh, it would be a good thing to get as many abilities as possible on these lower ranks, if they are good. Um, well... I wonder if I click next if we can go back. T 
tinkering. Oh. Fast learner. Some lucky people get it faster than others. You get plus one skill point for every level. General ability. Oh yeah, that's good. Cable hands, chance to break an item and crafting is lowered by minus 50%. That seems to be good. Gob's egg. Gold rules the world and the merchant rules the gold. Gain a 10% discount when trading. Crafters concopia. Cornucopia. You are a real master of crafting. You are crafting the items you gain. When you are crafting the items, you gain a 5% chance to create double the items. General ability. Okay, nice. Midnight Stranger. Cunning mind behind a shadowy disguise. You gain a 50% stealth bonus during night time. With tinkering. Uh -huh. Right priorities to drink, to eat well, to get a discount. You are granted a 20% discount when buying food and alcohol. In the inventory, these items weigh 20% less. Oh, that seems good. Especially for the weight reduction. Bookworm. Reading is the best way to learn. Gain double the skills from books. That seems to be good. First you need to learn a level 2. Yeah, of course. Firearms Academy. You seem like... You, seems like you already graduated since you are that good. You get plus 1 damage when shooting from crafted weapons and crossbow for every second level until the bonus reaches 20%. Cautious thief, why risk robbing the lucid when you can rob the dreamers penalty free? Gain 100% chance of pickpocketing when the victims sleep. VIP, nothing is too good for you. Gain 1% of the chance of finding rare items on sale for every second level until the bonus reaches 15% for every second level. Like, I guess that's our character level they refer to. Ability works retroactively, blah blah, yeah. Chance of finding rare items plus 12% at the moment, okay. Effective training. A great skill it is to get the maximum out of every lesson learned. You gain 20% to all experience received. Ah, this is how we can uh, negate the problem from our lone genius. So that's, that's something we should get firstly. So let's have the skill point, that's for sure. Then well, double items, stealth bonus during nights, discount when trading, yeah. I think this year, the double item, although may maybe the stealth is maybe better, depends. But well, I tend to not have any huge problems, at least after a point, uh, after a point uh, thanks to my hoarding. Um, with, with the resources, yeah, so let's rather have this here. Stealth in the night also makes sense. Um, double skill from skill book seems to be rather co uh, useful. And oh, crafted weapons no longer jam. That seems good. And we definitely need the bookworm. So let's have the bookworm first, maybe. Learn there, and then here. Oh, yeah, here, best of class. Some lucky ones always have it just, uh, it just come to them. You gain plus three skill points and one ability point each time you gain a level. There. That's for sure. Here, this one also effective training. A great skill it is to get the maximum out of every lesson learned, plus 20% to all experience received. There. Ends of gold. Crafting is a lifestyle. You succeed at crafting at a 100% rate, but only if you have studied the recipe and your tinkering skill is at least 50% of the minimum skill required. Okay, well, master of unlocking. You gain an ability to open locks of your level instantly. General ability. Okay, interesting. Slap on the wrist. Real lock picking wizards, by the way, can open a known lock type in sec. Slap on the wrist. You'll just get a slap on the wrist. Nobody attacks you when you fail at thieving. Interesting. So I think finding rare items like this seems to be pretty good, though. Like especially having this like one right from the beginning. Then rifles and shotguns, fusilier. You taught yourself to shoot shotguns like a true pro. Yeah. Well, let, let's ch just check survival again. Ah, oh, yeah, here. So Praetorian. Yeah, I think we need survival first. Plot armor. Someone has to survive, might as well be you. You get 1% to avoid knockdown for every level, yeah. Until the bonus reaches 20%. 
So we don't need that chance to avoid knockdown is already 20%. Hmm. Felcher, an ability to max out the healing effects of drugs available in the wasteland. Medicine is heal plus 1%, HP for every level until the wounds reaches 30. Yeah, I guess I guess we could take that. Oh no, it's like it's an additional percent, I guess. No, we have the level already, so that's the point. So let's have this one here. Yeah, so we get more health back. Then Oaken skin and travels and battles across the wasteland. Even the weakest person hardens. You get 1% of damage resistance and 1% to protect you from damage. Body and head for every level until the bonus reaches 10%. Ability works retroactively. And well, we already have everything. Or we would have everything if you chose it, of course. Ah. Ah, okay. So actually it's a good investment to have this one here right now, I think. Let's learn it for just one point. So here, deep pockets, you get plus one kilogram to carry weight and plus one health point for every level until those bonuses reach. Oh yeah, we that's something we definitely want. Exercise is the key to good health. You get plus one percent cold resistance, toxic resistance and Plus 4% to health points restoration while resting for every second level until the bonus reaches 10% for resistances. That seems to be good, but let's have this here. That's surely a thing. Body protection head, yeah. Plate master, when you are wearing your armor, nothing can stop you. Get 1% to damage resistance, 1% to head. So body and head plus one percent to avoid knockdown and minus two to dodge for every six kilogram of your equipped armor. Shield, body armor, and mask and helmet doesn't work with powered exoskeleton. Okay. So I guess like in the long term we would like to have this exoskeleton, huh? Juggernaut, you're an unstoppable force. By the way, this means when you're wearing your armor, nothing can stop you. Yeah. Juggernaut, uh, you are an unstoppable force. What does not kill you makes you stronger. Damage resistance for body and head increased 2% for every 5% of missing HP IR. The monster law expert and experienced warrior can tell a lot about their enemy just by looking at them. When aiming at a target, you receive more thorough information about it. I think that's... But that's more something like a friend could have. Poison Ivy, amazing metabolism, makes toxins disappear as soon as they contact your immune system. Common poison longer lowers your health points. I feel... We could get this damage resistance. And then up here, Praetorians, some people are capable of wearing heavy armor from the start. Most come to this skill later in life. Lowers dodge penalty three times when using masks, helmets and armors. Armor, helmets and masks no longer reduce characteristics. That seems good. And we know the Praetoria was an ex exceptionally important and good skill in Atom RPG. Shield Master. For true warrior, shield is basically an, exten an extension of his or her own hand. I think they, they have one D too much there. Helps the dodge penalty when using a shield. Shields no longer reduce characteristics and accuracy. Mm -hmm. Shield bearer, an experienced fighter, can use the shield really well for his or her own protection. Defense chance for shields increases 1% for every second level until the bonus reaches 15%. Shields become weightless. Ability works retroactively. Defense chance of shields. So my thinking is now that we didn't really see it in Atom RPG, Due to my character development decisions, maybe we should make someone be a shield bearer. But yeah, like with Fidel, uh, it actually didn't really seem necessary and also useful. But well, in our reserve in the West, it's easy to lose a lot of health, so why not have more to begin with? You get plus one action point as a one time permanent bonus. Oh! That seems about important. And one health point for every second level until the bonus reaches 30 uh, HP. Ability works retroactively. I think that's that's a no-brainer for the action point alone. Last hope, there's always that. In combat, you gain 10%, 10 health points every turn in case you have less than 40% of your max health points. 15 health points for every turn when you have less than 20, okay? So that's... 
That's basically regeneration, permanent regeneration. That's interesting. Self-sufficient addictions are sometimes caused by something missing from the person's life. You no longer have a chance to become addicted to any drugs or alcohol unless you have the doctor death distinction, which never allows you to stop being addicted. Oh, I was exactly thinking about doctor death here. Well, I think we definitely should get the inner reserve in the Praetorium. So, what to use here? I mean, I guess like getting a powered exoskeleton uh, will be a later thing in the game anyway. So the plate master seems useful, but this here, the juggernaut seems to be even better. Thinking um, long term. Um, yeah, so let's have the juggernaut. Damage resistance increases plus 2% for every 5% of missing HP. I think that seems to be pretty good there. And then we definitely have the inner reserves for the action point alone. And the Praetorian I would like to have as well. But let's firstly check out the other stuff. So, um, so now I actually regret that I took this here, but well, um, Blade Master on guard, first blood. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, critical effect for enemies seems to be right as well. So we've got tinkering, throwing weapons we don't have. Silk bowstring, you take care of your favorite weapons well. We get plus one percent to the range of fire when shooting from crossbows for every level until the bonus reaches 20 percent. Ability works retroactively. So I felt I, I really like the crossbows and I think we are using, we are keep using them. Powerful throw. You really should think about a career in sports. You get one percent throwing range for every level until the bonus reaches 30 percent for grenades and throwing knives. Let's have this here with the crossbow. And then bad day, that's what your enemies will get. Burning enemies lose 10% lose of their armor if you attack them with a grenade. Ah, yeah. So firstly throwing a Molotov cocktail and then a grenade. Huh? Sapa, everyone has the right to make a mistake. Primed explosives do not... Oh, I wonder if we have catastrophic failures with this. Yeah, it should be fun, I think. I go, I'm going to uh, save and load, of course. So, Sapa. Primed explosives do not go off in the inventory and you get an ability to disarm them. Ah yeah, that would be good because we blew ourselves up a number of times accidentally. Eye gorger, oof, right in the eye socket. Eye shots have additional 5% crit chance. Oh, that's something we want. We've got 12 points left. Arbalester, crossbows don't need force when you have skill. Strength requirements and longer impact shooting ability. But we do have a lot of strength. Depends what kind of crossbows they have. Genoese crossbowman, a professional shooter, reloads their weapon seamlessly. Crossbow reload costs are down one one action point. That's good. It depends very much on the strength. But well, we do have eight points. That should be enough, right? I have no idea though. But we can get it later on, I guess. So here, this one, Demo Man. Man, that's what your friends call you. Explosives that were set and blown up during combat always critically hit. Ah, yeah. That's interesting. Boom, you love loud explosions. Your opponents do not. You get 1% chance. We have uh, an H here. That is too much. To cause critical condition when using grenades or Molotov cocktails for every second level until the bonus reaches 15%. Ability works retroactively as if taken on the first level. Chance to cause critical condition. It's okay. Well, we could, we can use one skill here and then one up there. Um, was there something that we definitely wanted? Over here. That was the VIP. Yeah, I think I, I really want to have the VIP, finding rare items. That could be interesting. I think we should do that. 
and the rifles, fusilier, you taught yourself to shoot shotguns like a true pro, you get plus one to damage when shooting from shotguns, this one true grit, rifle shots, pierce 1% of armor and get 1% to damage when shooting from rifles for every second level, okay, hunter, you will always find their prey, you hit animals for double damage, Gunsmith, you get 1% of damage when aim shooting body parts of humans, except body for every second level. Witcher, fighting monsters is quite the important skill in the race. You hit mutated monsters for double damage. Oh yeah, wow, at the Witcher, right? We know what that refers to. Double barrel, lay down friend. Double barrel attacks grand 10% knockdown chance. Single barrel attacks grand 5. That's cool. Close combat, your opponents better keep their social distancing, removes handicaps when firing rifles and shotguns point blank. Night shooter, you see better when in the dark, removes the penalty for aim shots during night time. Amputator, all those pesky limbs are sim simply uh, unnecessary. You get 1% chance to crit damage, chance when aim shooting body parts from rifles and shotguns for every second level until the bonus reaches 15%. And then up here, strong grip, halves the spread when firing burst and double barrel shotguns. Burst, aren't they considered automatic weapons? Hmm. Proletarian with the shotgun, even if your shotgun is armed with simple table salt, you can still make your shots memorable for your enemies. You get 1% to crit effect chance when shooting from shotguns for every second level until the wound reaches 24. Ability works retroactively. Eagle Eye, aiming at vital organs usually does the job. You get 2% crit damage chance when aim shooting in the head or eye from rifles with scope for every level until the bonus reaches 30%. Ability works retroactively. Guys, I'm beginning to think that we are actually um, uh, rather uh, rather become experts in fewer skills with the weapons yeah like we don't need the rifles if we shoot the the crossbow anyway yeah I think we should rather do that because I guess we are not never going to get all these abilities here anyway and then it doesn't matter uh, if we have the, the skill but here eagle eye so crit chance is increased, chance to deal crit damage when aiming with scope. Manhunter. Yeah, I mean, I, I always like characters that, that can do everything so I can see more of the game. But I would expect that we will find friends that can shoot this shoot this stuff. Yeah, rifles and so on. So some say that man is the most dangerous of animals. Enemy standing in point blank range get 50% more damage when critically hit. If they die from such an attack, it always looks very gruesome. Oh. Well, Panic Master, don't cry and call mommy. Killing an enemy with an especially brutal death animation has a 15% chance to cause a panic amongst the still living enemies in 5 square range. Interesting. And extreme prejudice is what you are projecting while shooting at your enemies. Every bullet in an automatic rifle burst that hits the same enemy adds 2% to knockout chance and raises non-critical damage by 4%. Yeah, well, I, I have to find out what that is, like in relation to automatic firearms. Burst boy, we already know that. All assault uh, automatic weapons are still common in the waste, but the ability to probably use them is worth one's weight in gold. All assault rifles gain 1% assault rifles. And here this. Ah, okay. So they, what are, they are referring to are single bolt action rifles and automatic rifles. So they have, I guess there are more weapons in the game, of course. Every bullet in an automatic rifle burst that hits the same enemy adds 2% to knockout chance and raises non-critical damage. Oh, yeah, okay. So and then, well, let's have a look here at the automatic firearms. And by the way, you notice that, I'm, uh, that I do read everything now. So we have it in one episode. Um, and if you want, you can, you know, hit the pause button and read it for yourself or go back to this episode and check it out. Um, so, burst boy. All assault rifles gain 1% to damage for every two levels until the value reaches 22%. Rusty assault rifles jam twice as less. Ability works retroactively. 
machine gunner. You are no mere human, you are a force of nature. You get 1% of damage when shooting from machine guns for every third level until the bonus reaches 15%. Lowers the chance of jamming when shooting from rusty machine guns. Son of the, and the Fury, a burst from your weapon of choice will make the strongest enemies panic. You get 1% chance to inflict panic when shooting in burst for every si second level. Lubricator, when you treat it right, even the rustiest gun will fire like new. Minus 1 to burst spread. Firing line when in a shootout with you. Any enemy is only a few steps away from shell shock. You get 1% to knockdown chance when shooting from machine guns for every second level until the bonus reaches 12%. Yeah, well... Commando, murdering crowds of bad guys with a single burst is your day job. Each bullet in the burst gives 4 per, 4, plus 4% 4 to damage dealt to all the next ones in the same burst. Oh, cool. Executioner style, one needs to have a very special mindset to pull the trigger while looking the victim in the eye. Removes the handicap for shooting enemies on adjacent squares, yeah. Well, if someone is so close, then we are actually going to use uh, martial arts, I think. And also, I know here. Yeah, I mean, like the crit effect, I think that's actually a good thing. Uh, yeah, first blood. Fast reaction, if you manage to kill the enemy and you have nothing but melee weapons in the weapon slot, you get one more turn up at the end of the main one. Ah, oh, this is the one. If you manage to kill the enemy and you have nothing but melee weapons in the weapon slot, you get one more turn after the end of the main one. On an extra turn, you get 50% of your max action points. Ah, okay, no, that's just the killing. Blade mass, every attack cost is lowered by minus one action point as long as the base cost is more than three AP melee weapons. On guard to share, these are not merely buzzwords for you. Yeah. So there was shot uh, point blank, right? No, here, executioner style. Then here, target shooting machine guns are much more stable in your hands. Machine gun bursts are 25% more stable. Automatic firearms, only machine guns. That is. Shooting on a whim, you don't need to see your enemy to hit them. Removes the handicap when shooting at night. And then on the highest tier, bull's eye. Sometimes you can send every bullet through certain chinks in the enemy armor. Every bullet in an assault rifle burst gives the rest of the bullets in the same burst 7% to the chance of ignoring armor. So I think that's like really cool with the commando. Commando bull's eye. Weapon knowledge is the difference between a master and a novice, a living man and a dead one. Strength requirements to automatic firearms are lessened by minus three. Oh, that sounds like like there could be very high strength requirements, huh? But we have strength eight, it should be okay. So rocket rounds, you you learn to shoot accurately even at the most crazy distances. The range of all attack grows for four squares. That's also good. Yeah, and then we don't need we don't need rifles like that. Yeah, so I think we should actually really go for automatic firearms. Yeah, let's do that. Any cartridge belt, you keep your friends close, but your ammo even closer. The cost of reloading automatic weapons is now minus one action point. Target focus after the spread of burst shots. Total annihilation, kill, kill, kill. Every bullet is in a machine gun burst that hits the same enemy. Adds 1% for critical chance for the next bullets in the same burst. Then the last one, pistols and SMG. Breteur, when two people shoot at one another using pistols, the most experienced one always wins. You get 5% to armor piercing chance with aimed pistol shots. As a one-time permanent bonus and 1% to damage when shooting from a pistol for every second level until the bonus reaches 50%. Submachine gun fan. There's nothing subpar about submachine guns. You get 1% to damage when shooting from SMGs for every second level. Well, we know that Alexander really messed up people with this uh, Soviet style, this old uh, SMG, although he really shot a lot of ammo there. Bottle shooter, you love to shoot at the limbs of opponents and they are not heavy about it at all. Plus 1% to crit chance and 1% to critical condition chance when shooting any body part every third level until the bonus reaches 15%. 
Okay, Cat's Eye person that sees in the dark as well as in the light has a certain advantage in combat. Removes accuracy handicaps when shooting at night. Ear splitting shot, your enemies lose their sanity when you begin to fire your weapon. Every two levels you gain 1% knockout chance and panic chance when firing bursts until the value reaches 20%. Panic chance would be plus 12 now, knockout chance plus 12. Okay, and here experience duelist. Survive in Protograd is to shoot better than all enemies. Plus 1% chance of inflicting a critical state with aimed shots at body parts for every two levels until the value reaches 50%. Critical chance, yeah. Pistolero, in the way the quick draws is lifesaver, having a pistol or SMG in your active weapon slot grants plus one to sequence for every three levels until the value reaches seven. Ability works retroactively as if taken on the first level. Mm -hmm. Ballistics expert, everything has its rules up the, the shooting range by three squares. Neutralizer, plus three percent to the accuracy of each bullet and pistol or SMG burst. Get on the ground. Migraine medicine, that's one way to cure one's headache. Headshot against an enemy in a critical state, grants 50%. Crit chance bonus and 50% critical damage bonus. Concentrated fire, you would rather spread enemy brains on the sidewalk than your own burst shots. Pistol bursts, gain one plus one round and spread gets lowered by 25%. Armor piercing increased by 15%. Or pistols. Quick draws, the ability to quickly draw a handgun and fight accurately on a target. All it takes costs one, minus one AP. The base cost of a regular pistol shot or a short burst of SMG is three or more. So, I guess like for, for bigger pistols, right? So that's really good. For pistolero. Fast reload, it's not just about the shooting, it's about reloading. Reload cost is minus one action point less, does not affect weapons with the base reload. Cost of one AP shoot to kill. Pick a target, any target. Every bullet in the burst gives all the bullets that come after it 1% to crit chance and stun chance and also 4% to armor piercing chance when you attacked the same when you're attacking the same opponent. Spread easing, there's nothing subpar about submachine guns. Again, didn't they say that already? Yeah, here submachine fan. Halves the spread of SMG burst attacks. So yeah, so I feel that we are actually we are not going into rifles. Therefore, we are not going into rifles, but rather into automatic weapons. So let's reduce this here. Let's say to to fifty. I mean, if we only have a rifle that we can still shoot at a distance. Then let's put this one here. Weapons governed by the skill have a 9% chance to ignore armor. Experience for killing with the weapon governed by the skill increased by 15% chance. I wanted to have that anyway. So, and by the way, now let's put it like to, 150, uh, to 200, right? Yeah, 200 and throwing weapons also 200. And then I think I think we are actually good. Your pistols can also let's reduce it to 50 as well. Oh, that's the maximum, okay? At the minimum. And it depends, of course, what we find and get. But I feel we. I think we should actually. Um, increase our other skills some more so let's have speechcraft at 200 plus one personality would be good though at 299 250 bartering is just i mean the maximum here is also interesting for every 50 rubles of money gained by selling items i think this will add up in time yeah question is if there are skill checks on that or, or what kind of skill checks what was survival experience received via usage of the skill increased by 20 percent 
Oh ah, yeah, and by the way, let's put the this here to 150, so removes the negative effects of stimulants. Who knows what happens? So, yeah, and I think we are actually like fighting wise. Like we have we have three fighting skills, and I think that's actually okay. Um. Well, stealth was that was all just the experience gain. So speechcraft. Let's push speech, speechcraft. That's actually a common thing. And I mean, we've we've become wiser in time. Um, so I think it's okay. Yeah, wise and a good doctor. And seven points. Uh, yeah, well. Oh, let's put let's put butter. That's the. I mean, the matter. The question is, um, or maybe we keep the seven as a. No, 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 no. I'm going to invest it. No. Um, because I guess there's a chance, right? Of doing stuff. So let's have barter at 75. Like that. So and then we can... What What do we want to do? Um, I mean, in the last game, we most often, we shot and... Yeah, so let's put this one into throwing weapons like this. Not picking this only at 50 now. That that is actually irritating me. I would I would feel better if we had lock picking at 100. But on the other hand, like every every level we get 31 points and then we can actually increase it relatively quickly. So it's like around 15,000 experience points that we need for the next level. Maybe maybe we put it like this, so like that, and then we don't uh, we are not uh, getting anything in rifles and pistols, so survival, the Praetorian, yeah, yeah. So I feel the Praetorian is a good thing. Learn, and then. Um, Let's have one throwing weapon skill. Tinkering. Ah oh, no 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 no. No, I'm I'm just keeping these points and. Uh, <laughs> oh crap! I should have I should have taken. Oh no! Can I can I do that? Survival. Can I undo this? Can I undo it? I can't undo it. Ah oh, yes, reset. Okay, good. So here, because I, I'd rather have this here, gain one percent chance to finding rare items. Let's have that first. Uh, where are the the other points, by the way? Oh no, no, sorry. Uh, what am I doing? So this year, so we get the chance. And then we've got five points, which we keep. And then the next thing we get is the Praetorian. So I guess the, we keep the five points, right? So, and then I guess it's fine. So we keep them. Next, game mode, expert, a, a mode for experienced players saving only outside of battle. You get less experience, harder to avoid random encounters, unused parameters, abilities five. Well, if if they if they are gone, then I'm mad. Survival made for a uh, mode for those who'd like to tickle their nerves. Perma death. No, we don't do that. Let's have expert. Start. So there. I like it that they have more cutscenes like this now. 
Attention, Major. Everything you are about to hear is highly classified. We choose you for this briefing due to your activities in the Central Waste two years ago. The information about the asteroid you delivered upon return from Krasnoznamenny greatly agitated the Central Command. Our science teams did not reach a solid conclusion, but all of them agreed that the potential impact of the asteroid would be devastating to all life in the wastes. This is why Central Command organized a special research group with the goals of studying the nature of the problem and finding possible solutions. For the last one and a half years, the best minds of ATOM worked on this problem. Now it seems that, despite the current state of science and technology in the wastes, a solution has been reached. East of the central waste and our base of operations, there is a city called Trudograd. Once it was home to a special strategic manufacturing facility, the Inverter Factory, which was ran by a certain Professor Goryachev. As you know, Trudograd survived the war much better than most cities and towns of our motherland. Thus, it is possible that the facility still stands or even operates protected by the city walls. This facility is very important to our cause. Before the war, it was used to manufacture an experimental electromagnetic propulsion device, the R-01 railgun. According to top-secret documents we uncovered during our research, this invention of Professor Goryachev was able to deliver special polymer-based projectiles straight into Earth's orbit, or even further into outer space at tremendous speeds. If this information can be trusted, this device might just happen to be humanity's sole chance at destroying the asteroid before impact. Your mission is to venture into Trudograd, find Professor Goryachev and scout out the inverter facility for any traces of the OR-R1 railgun. If the propulsion device will be found, we will take it from there, securing and transporting it to HQ for further study and usage against the asteroid maze. Good luck, Major, and let there be Atom. Well, why don't we just work together with them? They won't have an uh, interest in, in any uh, asteroids coming You're down either, right? So we are in front of a blazing campfire. The autumn forest surrounds you and it creaks peacefully in the dead of night. The air hangs heavy with the promise of snow and the beginning of winter. The fire crackles softly with the branches that you feed it, enchanted by the darting, dancing flames. Crackling wood and the hiss of boiling sap are the only sounds in your tiny campsite. With a sigh, you stretch your back and gaze over at your surprised guest. He's a short fellow, hunchbacked and raggedly dressed. He emerged from the tall trees about an hour ago and asked if he could warm his bones by the fire. Surprisingly, you disregarded your hard-earned knowledge of the wastes and agreed. Now, he's sitting on the opposite side of the fire, his face hidden in the shadows of a hood. His silence is unnerving. You begin to regret allowing the stranger into your camp. Maybe saying something would help ease the tension? Well, they have... Uh, they have spoken vocals now. Interesting. So I, d I don't get to read so much. Um, which is sort of sad because I enjoyed rolling and imitating pseudo East European uh, accents in English, but well. So, there's a guy, well, otherwise, like, if we were here, he, he knows that we are uh, here and he could sneak up and kill us in the sleep anyway. Well, well, quite night, isn't it? The stranger looks away, up from the fire, and stares directly at you. Or at least it feels like he's staring. You cannot make out his face. Yes, no wind, he says in a calm and very soothing voice. A moment later, he asks... Are you traveling from far away? Yeah, life sends me to places far and wide. As it does to us all. The man is quiet again, but then throws a dry stick into the flames. Sparks fly up like a cloud of fireflies into the cold heavens as he asks, Did you hear what happened in Krasna's nominee? It's a city to the west of here. You feel a strange urge to tell him the truth. Who knows why? Perhaps telling someone about your adventures will make them more real maybe even grant them some kind of meaning. Hmm. Krasna Samani stands as it always has. Nothing changes in that place. By the way, guys and gals out there, I I feel maybe uh, this was not the correct save game. 
because that was before our decision to do something maybe i but i think i would probably repeat that off camera with the same outcome here um yeah so it said that we needed a safe in that room but i'm not doing that on camera again uh, that's getting too complicated but yeah well let's see so crosses are many stands as it always has nothing changes in place if that is so i, I mean we need to, i want to end the episode soon once i can save the game um but we'll see I don't know what he is referring to now and we don't know what's going on but we know that there are three possible outcomes or actually rather only two or well actually three so either we use viol violence we kill the mycelium oh and by the way sorry but this well okay spoiler warning from now on so you i in my opinion you really should watch the let's play of atom rpg first before you uh, start watching this year if you don't know it yet yeah so that's my clear recommendation. And now I'm going to tell what's going on there. So three three uh, outcomes were possible. Violence, killing of the mycelium, and preventing them from uh, zombifying people with their spores and poisoning the water supply of crosses are many. Then second, talking with them and giving in to their plan, but they let us walk away, so it's a peaceful solution, but they turn Krasasameni into a mushroom entity, basically. So all the people, yeah, and their plan is to unite humanity <laughs> into a mushroom entity, yeah, um, so the combined resources can be used to find a solution against this asteroid. And the third one is the, the one, the best ending, in my opinion, that we want to follow, um, which is that we convince the mushroom entity that it's a bad thing what they do and they need to stop their plan and uh, we will try and find a solution uh, together. Yeah, so, and that's what what I want. Um, well, let's see here. Because how many stands it always has, nothing changes in that place. Nothing changes, huh? Nothing is eternal under the moon and the stars. This is true for Kras's nominee as well. The stranger tugs at the peak of his hood and sinks deeper into the unkempt heap of clothing. Maybe you can tell me what happened to Dan, that wily old crook, leader of the factory gang. Well, he's alive and well as far as I know. That's good, the man says with a slight shiver. Silence once again descends upon your small camp until the sound of a wolf howling arises in the distance, and you look fearfully around. Danger lurks in every corner of the wastes, and it pays to be cautious. Why then did you so calmly choose to share your campfire with this odd fellow, a man you know nothing about? As if on cue, the stranger starts asking, What do you know about a lovely little village near Krasna's nominee called the Tradnoye? Well, Katya Ratchenko is the leader out there. She used to run the village tavern. You cannot fathom why you're sharing everything that happened two years ago with this stranger. It's as if an unseen force is compelling you to speak the truth. Or perhaps this force is somehow turning lies into truth. What happened to the trading hub called Paragon? Can you tell me that? Well, it's doing well, it's growing. I'm glad to hear not all is lost in that corner of the wastes. The man stretches his arms up as if to pluck a low-hanging star. Tell me, who did you share your travels with back then? I know it's kind of a personal question, but indulge me, please. Well, the former writer Hexogen. Once known as Trudeau. Yeah, I've heard of him. Anyone else? My colleague Alexander. The worm guy, huh? Is that everyone? I travel with Fidel, the infiltration agent. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyone else? That's all. The man nods and again gazes down into the fire. You take a drink from your water flask and hold it out to share. He shakes his head no. Five. Hard minutes of silence follow until you've had your fill of waiting and guessing. You lean forward, focus exactly on the darkness within the man's cowl, and in a stern voice, ask. Who am I talking to? Introduce yourself, please. Over the years, people have given me many different names. Your guest states without emotion. But isn't it true that names, like other words, have no intrinsic meaning? Words are senseless. Unless living people recall them and give them purpose. Thus, when we meet again, I will once more become nameless. 
Oh no, could this be? Of its own accord, your companion's hood slides limply away. Oh. Its absence reveals not a human head, but a glowing, undulating sphere of crimson fire. A deadly star. You yelp aloud, for a moment willing yourself to run, but already the night has vanished, dissolved in the haunting red glow. Never again shall you be able to hide from the invisible gaze of your nightmarish guest. That gaze is cruel and indifferent, and the lands it oversees are barren, burnt down to nothing but ashes and splinters of stone. You are so entranced by the endless landscape of utter obliteration that at first you do not notice how your own body has started burning. You are ablaze on the inside, like a bunch of cinders twisted into human form. And the wild, frigid winds scatter your ashes across the surface of the dead earth. Oh, what a nightmare! Or is it? Yeah. Well, that was a nightmare. And there we are. Where's my head? Where's my backpack? Fresh Prince of Trudograd. In incoming transmission. Uh, yeah. Click here. You take out the portable radio you were given back at base. Don the earpiece and turn the dial. Sounds like HQ calling to confirm you made it into the city. Oh yeah, that's nice. Wasteland 2 had this function as well with radio. Come in. Steady, come in. God damn it, can you hear me? Checking in. This is Hartbalev. I hear you loud and clear. Over. Hello, this is Vasily, the communication specialist. What the fuck? Static drowns out the operator's voice again. <laughs> Okay, now it's working. This is communication specialist Vasily. 2104. Do you read me? Over. Loud and clear. This is Hartbalev. Over. Oh, we have contact. Hey there, Hartbalev. How's it going? Are you in Trudograd yet? Over. Yes, I'm in Trudograd. I stopped at an inn in the outskirts of the city and slept. Now I'm awake and ready to go. Over. We are not lying to him. <laughs> Hysterical laughter. I'm afraid your precious heart will left is dead. I just picked this radio up from the side of the road. Uh, we're not doing that because maybe we can get re resources from them. Instead of a reply, the radio produces another storm of white noise. We remove our earpiece and listen at a distance. Soon the static dies down and we catch a few more words from HQ. Not gonna lie, I couldn't make out any of that, but I hope you're doing good. Just don't get into any trouble. Everyone on the base is rooting for you. And I wonder, after that, after what happened in the Central Wastes, you're something of a hero in Atom. But even a hero has to follow protocol. Do I need to remind you of your objectives in Trudograd? Over. Well, you know, I'm not likely to forget my mission objectives. Over. Makes sense. Well, just don't forget them later on. Check your portable computer regularly. There's a digi digital journal in there and a lot of personal information about you as well, in case you need to be reminded of your identity or past. And also... Uh, well, oh, we are losing the connection again. No, no, no. Why did you give me this computer thingy? <laughs> that we could say if we were a bad tinkerer, but we are actually pretty good with stuff. All right, all right. I'll check it on the hour. I'm checking it right now. Got anything important to say? Over. The burst of fresh static covers up the reply. Uh, just let me finish briefing this goof and then we'll take a smoke break. Oh, Atbalev, you still there? I need to repair this hunk of junk radio. Remember, you have ember level clearance, so you can always contact us yourself. Good luck out there. Over and out. Well, hold on. Is there anything else I need to know? Over. Hmm. I hope you did a good job hiding the equipment we gave you, like in a closet or something. Anyway, the communication array is busted, so I can barely read you. Over and out. Over and out. Turn off the radio. To view your characteristics, quests, current time, local map, etc. Press K. K-like map. <laughs> oh, what? Click the interface button in the upper right. Okay. So there. Ah, oh, yeah, well, okay. And are we actually, we do have the points now, right? Do we? Yeah, five. Okay, good. All right, so we don't lose them. Okay, then. Alarm clock. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Okay. We are slightly hungry. And they have introduced the cold in addition to toxicity. But uh, is radiation gone? Can't we be radioactive anymore? Radioactively polluted. 
We are Punch Master. Well, but that sounds all pretty good. So, but this is where we end this first episode. Thanks for watching. Can we actually zoom in and out? Yes. Oh yeah, the web, the the graphics look better now. They have increased. Uh, they have increased something. So there is. Yeah, it looks it looks significantly improved. However, like, but this is probably a problem with my graphics card or my monitor, like you see this here, right? Like it has problems with with the white lines. It is indeed a problem, but we'll see. So, we'll see. So, thanks for watching. We are continuing next time. And again, if you didn't watch Atom RPG, I recommend highly to watch that first. Because I guess there will be a lot of references here in this game. And well, we had a lot of fun. Atom RPG is certainly a very good game, if not an excellent one. Well, and certainly an excellent in the indie category. Um, yeah, and what happens next, we will see in the next episode. Hope you liked this one. If you did, please do click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, so never ever miss an episode again. And if you want to share any thoughts, feelings, tips and tricks or anything, please do so in the comment section. You know you're always welcome. See you next time. Bye-bye.